Hey y'all, Irix guy here, and I'm going to show you how to rig up an inexpensive solar and battery powered solution for your boat's accessories. Uh, drain plug light, LED lights inside, whatever other small devices you want to do. Now you can see this is just a, uh, a spill proof battery, it's small. This same type scenario would work with a full size car battery as well but I'm just doing it on a smaller scale. Uh, so you can find a link to all of these products within this video's description. But basically what I'm gonna do first, this is solar panel, this is the battery, and then this is the ex these are the accessories, which I'm gonna break that out instead of just one accessory. I'm gonna break it out to many with the convenience of this DC cable. So again, you can check this video's description for a link to where you can order all of this as well as the inexpensive solar panel uh, that I'm using to power this. So the first thing I'm going to do, this cable right here goes to my solar panel. And you may want to make this one extra long because if you want to charge, uh, maybe you put your boat in the dock, garage, wherever the case may be, and you need to stretch it out further to get sunlight when you're not on the water, it's good to have extra cable length. So again, negative and positive. Negative is black. So I'm going to take you know, just strip this down. I, I should have a wire stripper, but I don't, so I'm just improvising with a pair of scissors. So there's my negative. And I'm going to do the same thing with the positive end. There's my positive. So this, is, again, this is my solar panel. And I don't have it plugged in right now, of course. I'm going to put the negative, the black on the negative, which is this one right here. I'm simply going to get a screwdriver and loosen that. This is You can wire this kind of stuff up directly, but it makes it so much better buying an inexpensive box such as this. As you can see, I just simply screw it down. And it's going to make contact with this wire and hold it securely in place. Now something else I have coming, and this will be a, a later video, even though this will be in a dry part of the boat, I'm going to uh, I'm going to put this inside of a battery box just to better protect it from moisture and, and, and that sort of stuff. You can run all kinds of stuff off of a small battery like this, USB chargers for for cell phones, iPads, etc. So if you wanted to put if you wanted to add the capability to your boat to charge from wherever, because most boats, if at best, only come with maybe one USB port, this is an easy way to add more. And by having a secondary battery, you're not uh, you're not draining your battery that's used to crank your engine and that sort of good stuff. <laughs> so this is the other end of the cable, and I'm going to bring it over here. Uh, this is called an SAE style plug. And this came, actually the solar panel that you can find within this video's description, it came with a few extra SAE, SAE plugs. And as you can see, I simply wired them uh, to this DC wire, which you can also find in the video's description. So now when I connect this, it'll turn the solar panel on, because this other end goes to the solar panel. And what's cool is that now, and I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but that's a visual acknowledgement, that green light over charge. You can see it's green, take my word on it. That indicates it's getting sun power. So now our next thing will be to connect the battery. Uh, now, it's going to go to the, to the middle part. Again, positive and negative. Uh, this is something that I will keep, I will keep this in close proximity of the battery. So I don't have to use a long, a long piece of wire for that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do Again, you can find this wire within the video description, just your standard, you know, DC type wire. It's got red and black, positive and negative. So I'm going to strip this. First, I'm going to cut it because I don't need a long piece. I'm going to, I'm just going to make it that long. That way, if I needed to reposition it a little bit in the battery box, I have, have extra. 
wire's cheap, so it's not like it's going to break the bank if, if you have to get more. So, again, I'm going to strip the uh, positive and negative side of this wire. And this just goes to show how easy this is. A lot of people, they assume that a solar solution is expensive and complicated. I did this video because, number one, I didn't want to spend a lot on it. And I'm, I'm doing this because I want to show that, you know, even with this, this battery right here, I think it was around 20 bucks. You, you can check the current pricing within the video's description. But, I mean, it just goes to show you can get you can do solar on a budget. And if you're not powering a lot of stuff, if you're powering tiny LED light strips for your uh, for your interior of your boat, which that's what I'm going to run. I'm going to run LED light strips, and then I've got a, a drain light plug that's also LED. If you're not familiar with LEDs, they're very energy efficient. So, you know what a battery like this for traditional type lighting may not last as long, but for uh, for LEDs, it's great. So what we're going to do now is again we're going to attach this wire. Uh, the other end of this wire is going to go to the, uh, to the batteries. Go ahead and disconnect that solar panel. Not that it would cause any problems, but just don't want anything, any juice running into it while I'm doing this. Again, black is negative. And I'm connecting, this is going to be the battery cable, so it's going to the middle part. Now, I think I mentioned it earlier, but the cool thing about this device, I think it has some sort of, and you can check the video's description and, and read the specifics, but I think it has some sort of overcharge protection, which is good if you left your uh, solar panel connected for an extended period of time. And then also, just as I showed earlier, the, uh, the visual acknowledgement that it's charging is, is a plus as well. And you can see how nicely organized these cables will be in here too. I mean, it, it's the difference between looking professional on a budget versus looking budget and not professional. So, I mean, this this is going to look like it was professionally installed. You can really amaze your friends with the uh, with the complexity of your boat solar system. And this wouldn't just have to be a boat. You could do this. If you had a uh, cabin somewhere and you just wanted to have just a small amount of power off the grid, so when you got there, you could charge your cell phone. If you have something like this set up, it would, you know, it would constantly keep that that battery charged because of the sun every day, and then you'd have enough juice to come up and charge your cell phone and go home. So I mean, it's very versatile solar. I'm surprised solar has not yet become mega mainstream. It just hasn't. I don't know why. I think people are afraid of trying to figure it out. So this right here I'm just going to attach to the battery's lead. Uh, of course red being negative. You always make sure you get your positive and negative right because <laughs> you can fry something if you don't. Ideally I would have some sort of clip that I could slide over this but the one I ordered was uh, wrong size and I wanted to go ahead and do this project so I'm just going to put this through here I'll probably go back in the near future and and make a more permanent solution or better connected solution I should say because this isn't optimal but see you can see now it sees the battery and the battery is only two out of three so it's not completely charged. What's really cool now is if I plug the solar panel in, I ought to start charging the battery. And see now you see both charge and load and battery. So this is why this device is so cool. Because I've got the solar panel collecting sunlight, uh, which is recharging that battery. So now that leads us to the uh, to the final step, which is connecting the 
LED lights, my drain plug light, and, and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to put that here, and I'm going to, uh, and again, you can find all of this within this video description. It's inexpensive stuff. But what I need, now that's a female, so I don't need that. I need, uh, I need the male connector. So this male connector right here, you can see that. See, it's going to plug into this, and then that's going to break out into five different DC ports. So all that I'm going to do is get another piece of, uh, of wire. I'm going to attach it to this to turn this into a DC compatible plug. This just makes con disconnecting and reconnecting devices a lot easier when you just plug them in and you don't have to twist wires each time. So I'm just stripping this wire. My negative side. And then I'm going to do it again on the positive side. Got that. A little bit right there I need to get off. So now this has a little screw on it. These things are really cool and convenient. See it's got two screws, positive and negative. Just gonna loosen those screws. And then once I've loosened the screws, stick the, the black, which is negative, in the side that's marked negative, right there. And then once I stick that in, just like I did with this other thing, I'll uh, screw that down to tighten it. This is just, like I said, this is a convenient way to organize So see now that's well I didn't get that on. I'm gonna to have to retighten that. I'm doing this off camera because it's easier. I'm tightening the. I'm going to do this on a hard surface. That's kind of spongy. It's popping up when I screw it. Okay, so I got the negative side. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the positive side. Okay, so I got that on there, see? So now that's a DC style plug. This is a lot cheaper than buying the cables like that because most often they're basically charging you a, uh, a convenience fee <laughs> for having it pre-assembled. But see, now this will connect into my splitter, which I can then connect multiple devices to quickly using the quick disconnect, see? Those little DCs. And now this will go into the, uh, to the part that powers the devices that are running off of this battery. So keep in mind when you're when you're using this during the well more than likely your lights will be used at night. So what you want to do during the day is put your solar panel somewhere in the sun on the front of your boat or wherever and then that way when it comes when it's dark outside your battery should be probably full, fully charged depending upon how much sunlight you had. 
And that's the advantage to a smaller battery like this is that, well, number one, it doesn't take up as much space inside your boat. Not that it would matter because it's going to be behind my seat anyway, but it's, uh, you know, like I said, for what I'm powering, this is plenty big and, you know, it's right around 20 bucks or so, so can't complain about that. Now I'm just connecting this, again, the same way as the other ones. What's also cool about this is how it prevents wires from touching because it's got little plastic ridges in the middle. So it's going to reduce the possibility of a short circuit. But see, now everything's in. Now I can snap that down, that little yellow piece that'll do it. And what's also cool about this is you can see there's a screw hole there and there. So if you wanted, or there and there. So if you wanted to mount it on something, you could. Otherwise, you can just place it on top of something. And I'm probably going to use some Velcro and attach it to the top of my battery box. And the reason being, that way I can lift open the back of the seat and check my battery charge status. So that's, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, so now let's get to the good stuff and let's plug in our first accessory. So what I'm gonna do, I've got a wire running over here and you can check out my other video where I did the, where I did the uh, drain plug light. Well, that is the drain plug light over there. So I'm gonna put one of these and it's gonna be a female disconnect on it. This one right here because what it's gonna do, once I get it connected over there, I'm gonna plug it into one of those five available DC plugs. So I'm just connecting it over here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to relocate the camera so you can see how I'm setting all this up. So this is the back of my boat beside my engine. <coughs> Excuse me. On the other side, I have the main boat battery. This side's open. So I'm going to get, as I mentioned, I'm going to get a battery box to put this in that's, that's more permanent. But for now, I'm just going to set this back here since I'm not underway on the water. And then I can put this indicator right beside it so I can put that right there right beside it so I can see the charge status and then this when I plug this in my drain plug light ought to come up and sure enough it did because if I look over the back of my boat, I can see my drain plug light, the one that I got from, uh, from liquid light, I can see it turned on. So this is, this is a really cool solution. Now I'm going to do a lot of follow-up videos because obviously this is just my very bare bones initial setup. Because like I said, I'm going to do the battery dry box and I'm going to do some LED lights on the inside of the boat. But just to show you 
how nice this setup is. Let me take this off the tripod. See, I've got, now I've got the ability to run four more DC devices if I choose to do so. At a quick glance, I can look in and see my battery level for that battery, as well as charge status. Is there sunlight out? If so, is the uh, solar panel collecting sun? It is. Because you can see it says charge is illuminated. Load is illuminated because I'm running the, uh, the drain plug light. Just a really cool setup. So stay tuned. Share this video with others. I hope it was helpful. I know I had to do a lot of uh, a lot of research to determine the best way to do this and I mean I am super satisfied with the with the end result. I mean this is this has exceeded my expectations. So so that's rare. <laughs> yep. So uh, share with others. Be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash guy and enjoy all of Captain Irix Guy's videos. Y'all have a good day.